Hello everybody, this is Abraham with No Short Computer Services and today I'd like to talk to you about fans. These fans in particular. This is a Mac. Uh, Mac tests the speed of the fan and if they stop, Mac will complain that uh, your fans are not working. In fact, any computer will complain. Um, fans do occasionally stop because of the way they're put together. So here is a fan that comes from uh, an older Mac, but same idea. You get the fan, you get you know the shroud, and you get the fan inside. The fan, as you can see, is not spinning. Okay, this is what's supposed to happen. This is normal, normal fan spin this is not normal it will not work however it's not often easy or possible to find these fans and there is a way to make it work most fans can be taken apart like this for example it's got two screws so you pull the screws out let's get a screwdriver here this of course I pulled out already but you pull the screw screws out take the fan out and then most fans, not all fans, you can just take the actual fan and pull it off the motor. So um, this motor is uh, like an inverted motor from your normal toys where in a toys this part is spinning and this part is stationary. So this is a stator, this is the rotor. On the fans this part is stationary which normally is a rotor and this part is spinning. So um, it's just a different configuration. This one has to be run by a chip. There's a small microchip inside and that could, co could be a problem um, if it burns out. So in this case the fan is working, we know that, but something is preventing this fan from turning. And usually what happens is the lubricant that's in these fans uh, it either dries up, fails, or something bad happens to it. So what we're gonna do, we go get a uh, alcohol is our number one friend. So we're gonna take a tissue paper, dunk it in alcohol, and clean the shaft, the metal shaft of the fan. As you can see there is our failed lubricant. So we need to get the old lubricant out. Uh, you can use a tip, q tip will work just fine. Um, there's really no specific way to do it aside from these fan blades are extremely fragile and they can get broken. Now you'll also find quite a bit of dust. Definitely clean that dust out. Okay, so we have our um, um, rotating pin cleaned out. There is a little notch on it. That notch is what keeps the oil in place. We also need to clean out that part. And to do that best way to do it is to get some kind of tool, dunk it in alcohol. Well, let's wipe the tool, make sure that tool itself is clean. We don't want to introduce any more than we have to. Okay, so there is a little bit of alcohol on that. Probably Q-tip would work better, but uh, all I want to do is just get one drop and drop it in there. Okay, there it is, there it goes. So now I got the drop in there. The best way to clean it out is to insert our fan back. Okay, as you can see, now that the old lubricant is out, the fan is spinning. And it's spinning normal, just like this one. Okay, maybe not as normal, but this is because we don't have any lubricant inside. So clean the shaft. So what I did was by putting in the shaft 
back you know just jiggle it back and forth we clean the inside you can use a uh, toothpick problem with toothpicks is uh, pieces of wood can get stayed in there so th there are some dangers um, not big ones if you're careful enough of course you're gonna be able to get it cleaned out so now we just use lubricant uh, this one I got at Radio Shack um, it is a precision lubricator uh, it's fairly heavy I don't like using thin stuff because it'll just run out so this one will last you um, well about a month or two if you want it to last longer you have to get the proper lubricant from the manufacturer and I do not know what these guys were using so I'm just putting the drop, one drop in and then what you want to do is work your shaft back and forth a few times to lubricate the whole thing and as you can see this fan is spinning once again now I don't know if you noticed but on this particular fan there are marks that the fan was leaving on the casing itself now that's not good this means one thing that the fan is wobbling okay so when you have marks like this you definitely want to get the fan replaced but it will buy you some time if you have to use your computer you can do this trick um, you know you can order then the fan online and use the computer while the fan is in transport so this would definitely work um, now don't quote me not all problems are the same I see this a lot and it is fixable and it is workable but beware this would be fixed for about a month if you want it to last longer you need a proper lubricant you are probably not gonna find it um, I haven't found one that was good enough that would last longer than a month so one of two things you either save money and keep uh, putting drops of lubricant in um, for that of course you have to take a computer apart but oftentimes it's fairly easy or go ahead and find yourself a new fan now there is another thing about these fans this particular ones I found that Apple uses the same model number for different types of fans um, as long as I have them in my hand I just thought I'd made aware that if you buy these definitely match um, the outer casing to what you receive because you will get model that is identical and I was uh, quite surprised when I found that out so with this one we just take the screw out put the fan back together and put the screw back in okay. I don't have the other screw got lost somewhere and now we got a working fan so but do stress it again one month no more this will not long last longer than about a month. Hopefully that helps somebody. Thank you very much.